everyone, it's Katie. Welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel over here. And if you like content like this, make sure you give me a thumbs up. All right, I cannot believe we're even gonna have to talk about this, you guys. I am in, oh my gosh. Everyone knows on this channel that I am not a fan of Matt Byer because Matt did some dirty stuff over on my channel, right? He came over around, I don't know, September after some audio was released about um, Amber Portwood, his former girlfriend. Amber Portwood currently stars on Teen Mom OG and Matt and Amber were in a relationship for about four years. Amber and him split up after he failed a polygraph test and left marriage boot camp because he claimed on my channel the relationship was done. Amber has notably said that, that Matt has taken thousands of dollars from her, purchased cars in her name, and left um, a lot of debt in the um, missing money and debt behind. She then moved on with Andrew. You know where we're at with that. Okay, but Matt, he went on and got married almost right away. Now, he claimed he got married because he was so shell-shocked from his relationship with Amber. He ended up marrying this woman named Jennifer Conlon, who subsequently became Jennifer Bear. They ended up getting pregnant. Jennifer actually left him when she was five months along, and they had been, they've been split up. She since in January of, I believe, 2019, or 2018, gave birth to a baby boy named Christian. Matt and his wife, Jennifer, are still not officially divorced, but that didn't wait, that did not prevent Matt from getting into a relationship with another Jennifer and proposing. Yes, that's right. According to Starcasm, who broke the story, who found this registry on the knot, Matt and Jennifer Guess were actually engaged to be married. Now, this is crazy because he is not even divorced from Jennifer and apparently was planning to get married on February 2nd, 2020. Well, it's already been 58 days since February 2nd and there's no marriage license for the two of these people. And according to my sources, they split up. But that did not stop him. Let me show you this and good find sarc sarcasm on this one. I'll show you this. So here it is. It says wedding for Jennifer and Matthew, February 2nd, 2020 in Los Angeles. And this is their story as it says, all it took was their eyes meeting for the first time. Matt and Jen met at the 50th anniversary of WSOP on break from playing the big 50th tournament. Matt grabbed Jen's attention. And even though he was done with women forever, he asked her out that night he met up and the rest was history. They spent every day following by each other's side and fell in love. Matt asked Jen's daughter if he could have her hand in marriage and Sienna happily agreed. Matt proposed to Jen shortly after and she excitedly said yes, the two have never left each other's side and are excited to be united as one. The two have joined lives and have already become a loving family. Matt and Jen are looking forward to sharing their story of true love and will do so in a beautiful ceremony of marriage. Love is blind and has no barriers. Matt and Jen have never felt like this and look forward to celebrating their love on February 2nd, 2020 and bonding their love forever. Like, can you even believe that? Wow, you guys. Wowie, wowie, wowie. Okay, so let me just talk to you about this actual relationship because my, so last week, maybe it was last week, was it last week? I don't remember. It was about maybe two weeks ago. I spoke to Jennifer Bear, his current wife, who hasn't yet even been officially divorced from. That's right. I was actually just in the Clark County um, website checking on their case, and she was she filed for divorce in December of 2019. If you remember, Matt actually avoided service of the divorce, and he was um, a judge ruled on a default a default divorce and it's still waiting to be signed. So technically Matt Bear is still a married man. Now, when he was engaged to be married and planning to get married in February, neither one of him nor his wife, Jennifer, had filed for divorce at that point. So technically Matt was planning to get married to another woman when he was still married and hadn't filed for divorce. Riddle me that. And do you even believe there's such a thing as Matt was done with women forever? Come on. This man has made his entire 
like life about finding women and getting cash and money. Um, you only have to look online and Google Matt Bear, dad. He's got like a million kids that he like didn't pay child support for allegedly. And now he has a wife that's about to be his ex-wife with a child that he has only met one time according to Jennifer when I spoke to her and she wants him to have nothing to do with Matt because she thinks that Matt is financially unfit and due to DV that was in their relationship. Yeah, that's right. She did discuss numerous incidences during their very short time together. While they've been married for three years or almost three years, they didn't stay together for very long. They married, I believe, in like November of 2017. They were split by August of 2018 and she was five months pregnant. Now, at some point in time, it appears that Matt met up with Jennifer, which here it is on her Instagram. He ends up showing up on her Instagram. I don't know. It was in July at some point. And as you can see, they had sort of this like whirlwind relationship. Um, they, she showed up a lot. I mean, it was like from July 1st and then by the end of July, she was, you know, sharing photos with him. They were going to the Patriots. If you know anything about Matt, he is from um, the Boston area and he's a humongous Patriots fan. Um, and they shared a lot of these photos and I don't know what that is. And then suddenly around like the end of all of that, around the end of, I don't know, was it July? July 28th, I think is the last time one of those photos actually showed up on her Instagram. And his first photo with her and him was July 1st. So this was probably a whirlwind relationship. They get engaged and something happens. Well, what happened? Well, what I did was I reached out to Jennifer Bear because Jennifer Bear obviously is still married to him. And I said, did you see this? And Jennifer said, what? He's still married. Yeah, so Jennifer Bear didn't even know that Matt during that time had gotten again, gotten engaged to Jennifer Guess. Now, he did. she did note that she was well aware of this relationship and she didn't care that he had a relationship, but Jennifer told me that Matt told her that he apparently borrowed money from his new fiance and never paid her back. She doesn't have all of the details, but I guess this Jennifer was not cool with him scamming cash from her and she ended the relationship with him. This is kind of a pattern with him. He did this to one of my moderators by asking her to send him $2,000 and he also used my channel to try to find a number of women to send him money. I've spoken to at least, I don't know, a handful of women since I did a video about him a couple weeks ago, outlined the different things that he was doing. Not to mention, it's not actually known when the two of them split up. At some point in time, these two separated. They, um, but it, that he didn't waste any time because he came onto this channel and he was looking for love almost immediately. And he's a since maybe allegedly moved on with another person that he's met online. But here's the question. How did Matt think he was going to get around this? He, A, had never, he wasn't even divorced. There was no paperwork filed. And then when his wife, Jennifer, actually filed for divorce, he did everything to try to avoid service of it. So what's going on here? Like, did she find out that he was married? Did she find out that he hadn't been divorced yet? Was it because she allegedly was owed money by him? Matt has a pattern of behavior of, of getting money from people and then not paying them back. The funny thing is, is on the Not website, there's actually a message where people could um, send messages and a woman named Sarah yesterday wrote, hey Matt, I'm still waiting on the $3,000 that you owe me. You know the money that you swore on your children's eyes that you would pay me back? Matt, how many women do you owe money to? This is just weird. And how are you gonna get engaged to someone when you're still legally married? Like you're still legally married. We did do some searches and we could not find any marriage licenses for them. So it doesn't appear that they actually applied for a marriage license. And something obviously happened in the in this fall because the two of them are not together anymore. I did reach out to Jennifer on Instagram and she had she has not yet responded. Jennifer Bear was obviously um, shocked by all of this. And when Jennifer reached out to Matt, Matt said to her, I don't know anything about this. You tell me. Now, do you believe that he knew nothing about this? Um, or do you think he really did this? 
I mean, he literally just denied to Jennifer, his wife, that he's still not divorced from, that he knows nothing about this and he doesn't care. Of course he doesn't care because he never cares about anything because it's Matt Bear. Matt Bear is still up to doing Matt Bear's goods. If you're online, ladies, and if you're looking for love, the person you probably shouldn't get involved with is Matt Bear. And no matter what he tells you, he hasn't changed. Okay, I'll see if Jennifer Guess actually re replies to me. I don't know, you dodged a bullet, lady. You dodged one. And hey, if he took only a couple grand from you and you didn't pay him back, I'd say that as, I would take that as a win because then you didn't have to marry him. Because apparently, Jennifer Bear has a long history of things that he did while they were married that weren't very kind. And I would suggest that anyone, before you even consider getting into a relationship with this man, just Google Matt Bear deadbeat dad or Matt Bear women. I mean, it's, he's like the con, uh, quintessential con man. All right, you guys, I would love to know what your thoughts are. Do you think he thought he was gonna get away with this? Do you think he would have actually gone through with it? if he had not been dumped by Jennifer for actually apparently, you know, scamming her? Do you think that Jennifer was smart to get rid of him? Do you think he's still doing this right now? Do you think there's another Jennifer that we don't even know about? Do you think maybe he's engaged? I want to know. Tell me in the comments below. All right, you guys, I'll be back later with more. Bye.